guys, I'm just up in an attic here in Cochrane and with all the attic rain that we've been experiencing over the past few days in so many homes, especially newer homes, uh, I just wanted to take a second while I'm up in the attic to show you what's going on and what some of the primary causes are. Okay, so this is what you'll typically see. So you can see those brown spots there on the white insulation. That's actually pooled water um, and it's coming from up on the OSB sheeting. So you'll see these vents here in newer homes typically these vents are the only vents you have you usually don't have soffit vents on either side depends on the model depends on the house but that's typically the way it goes sometimes you'll have vents here and then another vent kind of halfway down actually you can see one right there so that's your ventilation for the attic so if those get covered in snow on the outside uh, by a big dump of snow and then we follow that up with a really bad cold snap what will happen is any moisture from the house can either get in from around the edge of the attic hatch or around a bathroom exhaust hose we don't have one nearby for me to show you any kind of penetration in between the livable space down below and the attic up here will cause moisture to get up um, that moisture because it's cold um, there isn't as much uh, ability for the air to retain moisture. It's just science, it's the way it goes. Um, so that moisture will then cling to structural members in the attic or it'll cling to the OSB, OSB sheeting uh, and it'll wait there until it warms up. It has nowhere to go. And if we have a really, really bad uh, Chinook, or I guess it's a good Chinook, it warms everything up. But uh, if it warms up really quickly, what happens is that uh, snow and ice will melt really really fast um, and it doesn't have the ability for those vents to slowly allow that uh, moisture to evaporate and then get out through those vents so it'll condense and then it pools on the insulation and if that happens then you'll start to see pooling on the sheeting so the important thing about this is if the vapor barrier is doing its job it'll catch on this side of the attic it'll evaporate eventually and it'll go away but if you have vapor barrier that's not sealed and it's just loose like this moisture if there's enough of it can pool like you can see these water drips right there um, it'll pool on the surface and then it'll obviously just track along the plastic get underneath these seams and then it'll get on the drywall and it'll leave a stain on the ceiling below and that's why you get the stains on your ceiling so we'll talk in another video about how to get rid of those uh, stains on the ceiling without causing any damage uh, or having to repaint. Um, but that's sort of a Cole's notes on what attic rain is, how it happens, and what the causes are of those stains on the ceiling. Thanks, everybody.